Well, hey, internet friend, welcome back. This is match four of the round of 128 in my DCSS All Species All Backgrounds tournament. We have a Formicid Conjurer versus a Ginny Conjurer. Two Conjurers, one episode. The Ginny seems like an odds on favorite, given spellcasting is in their DNA, but you never know how the dungeon will lay out. And that's kind of proven by the round one performances. For some reason, I took to the Formicid's abilities, while the Ginny did enough to get to round two, but didn't look that strong. Well, heck, now I'm rooting for the Ant Magician. And so, without further ado, let's get right into the action. All right, here's our Formicid Conjurer going first. What a cute little X layout for the Ant Magician. So we're gonna focus only on Conjurations so that we can really get that as high as possible, get that magic dart to 100% as soon as possible. I'm gonna fiddle with these skills for a little while and then get started. So the whole point will be make sure nobody gets too close. Can't go back up that stairwell. So we'll just wait till we get enough magic to be able to hit this guy one more time. So is this Formicid going out on a zero? No. Okay. Phew. Uh, the good news about a Formicid is you can see around corners like this. Uh oh, see, there's two guys. Uh, this is trouble. Okay. Killed one. Oh, that worked out nicely. That could have been a real big deal. But we'll grab that short sword just in case. And I think that's one of the benefits of the Formicid is it starts with strength 11, dex 12. I mean, that means that if something does get close... We can probably take it out with a sword. Uh, don't want to practice that too often, but if we run out of magic and there's something right next to us, you know, there's a chance it comes in handy that we have that sword. Lost track of that co bit, cobalt. Blizzard's not getting close. Jump forward. We're gonna kill off stuff here and there. This is still D1. Leather armor might come in handy. Um, we could use a little bit of loss in skill, uh, in magic skill, in order to have a little more protection. All right, up to level two. Zap, zap, zap. Going to be a lot of zapping in this episode between the two conjurers. Ooh, here's a nice jewel or jewelry boutique. Uh, I'd take some of that stuff, but nothing's affordable now, so we'll put it on the shopping list, come back for it later. Conjuration's up to four, that's good. Ooh, another shop. Identity scroll will take at least one now. Uh, we'll come back for the revelation for sure. And the other identity potions, I mean, sc scrolls will be very valuable. Ooh, a cheaper ring of protection, that's fun. There's a lot of shops on D1 here uh, that can come in handy down the road if we are careful. A fourth shop? Wow, Book Boutique. That actually is a really good one for us. And a lot of potions of curing here. That's good. Yep, we'll put those on the shopping list. A lot of good stuff on the shopping list here for the Formicid. So maybe this one's off to a good start. Looks like D1 might be finished. Oh, there's one mysterious hobgoblin hanging around still. Yep, got D1. Let's get to D2. It's right next to you. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's a troublemaker. This ribbon worm has caused us trouble a couple of times so far this tournament. Okay, let it get a little too close there. And now we're held, that's trouble. Ooh, hit hits hard. Ooh, hit the hard again. Oh my goodness, that's it. Oh no, we lost to the ribbon worm so early. No, we're alive. No, we're dead. Dang, fifteen points. Not very good. That doesn't suit well for Formicid. He scored five thousand in round one. Only scored four fifteen in round two. That's tough. Uh okay. Well, the Jin Ginny has a easy trick. It's already got one point, so it should be pretty easy to make it to round three at this point. Uh, what a shame for that Formicid. What a great round one performance. 
in the long run that might come back to be valuable if uh, we have a second tournament and uh, gets a better seed by having a really good first round performance but geez what a what a waste that ribbon worm really messed us up meanwhile this Ginny is uh, already has Searing Ray you know that's one of the benefits of being um, Ginny is you already have those first four spells so all it takes is having the these spellcasting ability to be able to cast them Ooh, same ribbon worm d2 interesting it's almost the exact same you know idea or layout this one's not getting close see that's the key keep it far away and oh jessica appearance uh i'm not going to talk about having murdered that uh particular inhabitant of the dungeon for reasons that are very specific to my family but uh, we got a robe of willpower off it. Plus two robe of willpower is pretty strong. I think with that kill, it was probably already 15 points for the Ginny. So we're probably already on to round three here. So we'll sort of play through the rest of this. See if it's looking like this build is going to be you know, worthy of trying to go after the, the, top, end, uh, the top end scores. Got to identify everything. Got to go through those six identification scrolls. Okay. Now we're on a D3. Got Trident in hand. Don't need that degeneration potion. Let's see what god this is. Ooh, that's a tough, tough sell on these three. I don't think any of them really perfectly fit what the conjurer does. And your admin all would be bad, so. No enchant weapon, that can be really positive little waterway here to in a dungeon to check out nothing back there though some gloves put those on right away another ribbon worm is this one going to be our downfall nah searing ray piece of cake terrence wow our second named on d3 Oh, we're going to get Prismy. Let's go. Blow this dude up. Hit him real hard there. I don't see why we're Prisming again, but it's fun. Move out of the way. Oh, he broke it. See, this is why you Searing Ray earlier. If it's a 1v1. Yep. Yep. Got him. That's a lot of XP. Can't use that chainmail, though. Picked it up anyway. All right, let's go down to D4. Now, we died to a Coca earlier in the tournament, so I'm kind of nervous about them now. Maybe we're just trying to get set up really nicely. Ah, stealth up to two. That should be helpful. Okay. These guys should be no problem. Hey, that's nice. A plus five rapier, a flame, and resist electric. I'm going to have to put that on in a moment. Yes. Yes, please. I think that suits our character quite nicely. Yep. Burning the victims and with our elect is very good. Look at those skills now. I 
I'm almost tempted to hit some things with that rapier, but really we're just using it for the R elect. Oh, Wu Jian. I don't think that fits this particular character. A conjurer doesn't fit a monk type build. Already to level six, that's good. Okay, here we go. Akawaru. Not perfect for this build either. I think maybe we're temporarily forgetting here that we can fly, so we're trying to figure out how to get through this corridor. Zapping things past the lava. Ah. Olivian. This phantom is probably not a problem for us. Searing Ray, that dude. Yes, yes, yes. Stealth skill up to three. I'm not being very stealthy, but... Gonna focus just on spell casting for a little while. Elivilan. Elivilan. Yeah, that's right. That's how I'm gonna say it. Elivilan. So uh, being able to purify yourself is really helpful if I get poisoned. Although I don't think I can get poisoned as a Ginny. Um, uh oh, here's another man named Mankari. Oh, crushed him. Absolutely crushed him. Ooh, Frozen Lam Ramparts is good. I don't think we'll use it thematically, though, because it's just ice, not conjuring an ice. Scarf of Repulsion is very good. Wear that. Protect ourselves from bows and arrows and stuff. So the healing from... Elivilan feels like it'll be a good value for us. I don't think I want to fight Crazy Yusuf. Yeah, let's pull this guy up. Now that thing makes a lot of noise, but I love using it. Yeah, I might as well identify a couple things while we're here. Revelation can be in handy if we see a sewer soon. Might's pretty useless. Haste could be good. Alrighty. D4. Looks like it's coming to a close here pretty soon. Ooh, yikes. These guys are trouble. Okay, good choice. The, this is a, an occasion where the, the prism will come in handy because it can hit multiple people at once. Probably just smashed Duvessa real hard with it. We put it right there. It's likely that they'll w try to walk around it instead of hit it. Yes, perfect. Oh, that's nice. They're both almost dead. Um, a Searing Ray across both can do us really well. Yes, okay. Yeesh. This is a one-hit situation. If she hits us now, we're a goner. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at all that increase in levels of spell casting. HP is pretty low now. Wow. That was a close call. Can't use that ring mail, really. We're just going to go down to D5? Guess so. Let's see what's down here. Boots can't use them. Identify this ruby potion. Oh, resistance can come in handy, maybe. Run into a big fire thing. That did no good. We hit him with no damage, and then he's coming closer. Oh, yeah. Let's prism this dude and everybody else in the area. Boom. Another one. Gosh, I love this prism. I don't love that location, but... Killed the wizard. Mm, that's good because they won't bother to try to block it. Yeah, there we go. Yep. 
Yep, this is working nicely. That's perfect. Okay, we got a phantom down there, so be wary of that. Well, we've reached level eight. Yeah, let's get out of there. Good choice. Go down a different stairwell. Making good decisions. Not letting the bad guys set the terms of engagement. Adder's getting a little close for comfort. Potion and curing, that's good. Sleep cap's trouble. We've lost one of those recently. Barely hit it. Okay, phew, Searing Ray took that guy out. That was lucky that we got the hit in before he went invisible because it meant we could continue to hit him after he has gone invisible. Oh, that was a good use of that spell to push everybody away, but we are surrounded and there are lots of dudes here. Oof, this is trouble. Okay, we're, we got this covered though. Searing Ray should be able to take these two dudes out in a couple of turns. Oh my goodness. You fed up a smart move jumping away from the Searing Ray. Oh my gosh. This is a down to a one hit situation. Got it. Oh, wow. I haven't lost to a Euphetibus very often. But that was enough for the Genie Conjurer to win. On to the next round. On to the next portion of the bracket.